Tomorrow is the 75th anniversary of the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. This is archive footage from December 7th, 1941. Now that attack killed 2,400 Americans and drew the United States into World War II. And here's a drone shot, drone footage of what the Hawaiian Harbor looks like today. Now one local man remembers the Pearl Harbor attack like it was just yesterday. His name is Ken Richardson and he was born and raised in Honolulu. News Channel 3's Tracy Lair spoke with him tonight about that day and she joins us live from the Santa Barbara Airport where a commemoration will take place tomorrow. Tracy. That's right, CJ. He was just a boy in Honolulu during the attack on Pearl Harbor and remembers watching it with his brothers. Tomorrow he'll be here at the Santa Barbara Airport at a remembrance. He witnessed history. Well, it was a scary time, obviously, and from our house, we looked down on the, uh, the city of Honolulu, about five miles from Pearl Harbor. At the age of 10, Ken Richardson and his two older brothers witnessed the bombing of Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. As zeros flew over, they grabbed a BB gun, a bow and arrow, and a slingshot. I was terrific with a slingshot. So I went and gathered all the pebbles I could. So we lined up on our second floor, looked down on Honolulu, and we looked as ferocious as we could. His family of descendants, including his father, who worked as a radio operator, survived. But more than 2,400 people died, including a neighbor. I never had seen anybody be killed before. I got to see a neighbor be killed by a, an exploded artillery shell that came down, an aircraft shell. And so I learned a lot and became quickly matured, you might say. Richardson went on to become the president of Hughes Aircraft Company. He'll turn 86 in January and says young people can learn a thing or two from what Tom Brokaw called the greatest generation. Doing something that may be difficult but requires perseverance, education, and dedication is what is missing. That's what's needed. And a remembrance will take place here tomorrow at 10.30 in the morning. It's free and open to the public. Richardson will be here. He says he's not part of the program, but he might as well be. In Santa Barbara, Tracy Laird, News Channel 3.